Good morning, KW Clearwater. I'm here with Tony. Hello, what are you up to? everybody. What are you Just, doing uh, out there? I had an inspection, keeping busy. Good. Tell me about um, some wins that you've had this week. So I've been reaching out to the database and um, I've actually been getting leads from it. I've been getting people who are really very thankful. Um, and I reached out to a customer who has a newer agent in the family. And I say newer, I mean, they've been in the industry about a year or two. And um, they said, well, you know, I think that we're still going to have to work with Tony. We can get you a referral fee because she worked for a commercial real estate company um, or a company doing commercial real estate. And um, so I'll get the referral fee and, and work that transaction. It's a little bit down the road, but I think what's important to keep in mind is we're reaching out to our database and we're not looking for immediate gratification. We're looking for trying to get the momentum moving forward. We're trying. Well, the, and the truth is people are gonna sell today and now, and people are gonna buy today and now like they are, but the number of those people is gonna to diminish to who really has to, right? Correct, yeah, absolutely. But I think that for those who are staying at home and they're not working their database and they're wondering what they should be doing, those idle times are going to make more idle times three months from now. So yeah. you have to keep going. You have to get up off your rear and, and make the calls. If you don't have your database organized, this is the time to do it. Hire someone who's out of school right now and pay them five bucks an hour to do your database and work on other things. Get yourself organized. There's just so much more that you could be doing right now. Um, I've, I've really been researching on different things that I can do myself um, to keep the momentum going. I've been going to all of my listings, making sure they have gloves and hand sanitizer for some odd reason. I had little spray bottles of it. So luckily I had some to give Whoever out. Who thought that would be liquid gold? All those little sanitizers we've gotten from conventions and things, right? <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> I was going through my purses and pulling out little bottles. I'm like, Ooh, these are worthwhile now. <laughs> I know, I know. And you know, I've been giving out fun recipes. I've been sending um, bomb bomb videos to my customers on things to do while you're sitting at home. Um, I've been sending them little, quick videos of myself doing lawn bowling with the kids or the kids cleaning out gutters. Um, right. What, whatever I can, but regardless, I'm, I'm keeping my database engaged. I'm right. asking them, how are you doing? I'm following all of the things that I've been reading. And the one thing that, you know, I'm staying hopeful for is we live in a hot, humid environment. If you've been reading and following, it's saying that the virus doesn't really live as well in that environment. So I'm hoping for us in South Florida and, and, and Florida in general, that it's going to be a little more short lived. I'm not going to say it won't come back, but I'm taking advantage of this time right now so that when people are starting to feel good in the summer, that they're going to want to buy and sell right away. And that's the time. Well, and for those of us that have been through a shift, because I've been, this is my third real big one. Uh, we know what to anticipate, but there's plenty of people that haven't. So one thing to know is there, there, there are very logical conversations you can have with a listing if it makes sense for them to stay on the market. Because if, if and I'll role play that real quick with you, Tony. So it's, say Tony yeah. is my seller. They really do want to move. They really do need to keep on the market but they're nervous. I mean, isn't that everybody? Um, yeah. So, so, so I'll role play that. So Tony, here's the thing, it, you know, I know you might want to consider coming off the market and yet I want to just explain to you what the market of the moment is so that you make the best decision for your family. So today we have the lowest supply ever in inventory for you and your market. So you are in high demand. You have very few competitors for li listings. The truth is, because everyone's kind of in a very nervous time, a wait and see mode, there's going to be a lot of pent up listings that gather in the next three days, three weeks, three months, because we don't know how long this will be. And when normal happens again, all that inventory is going to hit the market. So today, you have barely any competition. 
three weeks or three months from now, that won't be the case. Right. So all of a sudden the pressure will be on you to really price it as low as possible and to have it in as pristine shape as possible and move in ready. And if it's not, your listing will sit there until the other inventory sells first. So today I know what the market of the moment is. It's awesome for you because you have no competition and you have the most amazing rates and the buyers out there today are serious, very serious. That's right. And yet if we take it off the market, I don't have a crystal ball. And yet I know there's certain things that are going to be true. So that's a great conversation to have with any lister right now. Even if they're not bringing it up, bring it up and say, you know what, there's things we can do so that we're protecting you and your family. And, and Tony, you had mentioned you've done a few things. If I'm a listing of yours, what are some of the things that you've done to prepare my listing for showings and what, what have you changed? So I've been asking sellers to make sure that the lights are already on, that doors are open. If there's an amazing pantry, just, you know, open it a little bit if it's not in the way of, of a pass through so that people can look inside of it. All the lights are nice and bright. It's ready to go. Make sure the music's on in the background nicely. Air, but I, air conditioning's so, cranked so they know it works. Right? <laughs> yes. It, just make it as show ready as possible um, and as we all know keep it clean folks I know you're at home but keep it clean um, that's probably the hardest part let's be honest <laughs> yeah, absolutely so the other thing too is I've been doing the 360 video tours 360 photos and then I've been doing a walkthrough video so that if folks are afraid to go outside guess what we have all of these options for you to look from the luxury of your own home Nice. And so, but my sellers have been very receptive to that. I actually had a seller who was very limited on the times that she wanted to show the property prior to this happening because she's single mom. So I had a conversation and basically she said, you know what, take all of those restrictions off. We will figure it out. Even if the house is a little messy, we will get them in. Um, so you know, we're, we're doing everything that we can to make sure that the seller knows that we are still here. We are the professionals. We are working for them and doing everything we can to get their listing sold. Very good. Very good. So the, it all starts with the care call. We all have idle time. Idle time makes people nervous too. So what yeah. I would su suggest, and I'm just going to quick do a little screen share of, of what I wished I could make you all do. And so I wish I could get you all to do what Tony's doing. And while you're doing your care call, of course, come from true care, but have their con and have their contact information open while you're speaking with them so you can evaluate. So say I'm talking to Patricia here um, and I'm looking and I realize, oh, I don't have their address. I'm going to get their address. Um, if I'm missing phone numbers or emails, I'm going to get that contact information while I have them on the phone. And what do you think I'm going to do next? Well, first things first, I'm going to say, Tony, with the market being as erratic as it is, I don't know if you saw what happened with the stock market, that obviously is going to impact our economy and the real estate market. So one of the things I'm going to do, and you want to be presumptive, you want to assume that this is okay. You're not asking permission. You're saying, I'm going to... Um, provide you an up-to-date, accurate monthly snapshot of your home's values and your neighborhood and everything that is impacting you. So I obviously know because of your, your address that you live in the Stonegate Apartments neighborhood, are there any other neighborhoods you want me to track for family or friends or that you're just curious about? And I'm going to add those neighborhoods and put them on a neighborhood nurture. Um, right in your smart plans and you can literally just go right into your smart plans and put them on whichever. Now, if they're really nervous and they want a bi-weekly update, you can do that or monthly, one or the other, you can't do both. Second to that, in your smart plans, um, I'm gonna move the screen here, you can add to other smart plans. One would be to promote my app. Why not? Promote your app right now and ask them to beta test Real Estate Search 2.0. It's a search that even Zillow doesn't have and you'd love their feedback. And last but not least, now that I've actually relinquished the relationship, I've gotten the relationship back, guys. Maybe this is Tony who I haven't talked to in two years that I sold a house to. You know, this is the truth, let's be honest. We're gonna get our arms back around the database and I would challenge you 
to put them on a quarterly call plan so that you stay in relationship. Because it's one thing to do this. This is a moment in time that we all have as a defining moment of how we choose to move forward. Um, some agents will give up, some agents will do nothing, and many agents will do what Tony's doing and she's working right now. So thank you, Tony, I love you. I miss yeah, you guys. Hey, listen. Wanted to do one other thing too. Yeah. So when you have right now a market that we don't know what's gonna happen, I think it's ideal to make people understand that prices are gonna go down and interest rates hopefully will stay low. So who do we want to reach out to? People who are renting. Mm -hmm. So why not reach out to people in luxury apartments and find out if they are willing to buy and sell, or to buy right now, not sell, but to purchase, because it might be their one great opportunity. Well, so. and we have that, we still have that fee-free mortgage we can offer too, which for anyone that maybe doesn't have all their closing costs ready and they're like, yeah, I don't know if I'm ready, that might be the difference maker as well. So you've got your great lender friends, you've got Van Dyke, you've got all the people that you can like and trust that will help you. And you also have that killer mortgage. So it's not a bad thing to offer. So yeah. Tony, we love you. Yes, Thank you for your time. I hope your inspection goes well and keep on keeping on, girl. Thank you. Bye. Thank Everyone you. Bye. have a great time. Be safe and healthy.